the dudes, Chooch. Wanted to show y'all a quick up close of the InMotion V12 with a good camera so y'all can really kind of see this thing, um, you know, in its glory up close after it's been used for a little bit. Check it out. So I'll show you some upgrades I've done to it as well. So I was out riding hard the other day and y'all remember I had the front fender on this thing, like the front little nose piece. I crashed and that came off. But... Um, <laughs> Um, I can fix it back. I got the Clark pads on here. These are the new Clark pad 3D extremes. Absolutely love these. These are great on this wheel. Absolutely just fantastic. You get it locked down on your toes guys and it perfectly set up and this thing it just the V12 becomes a new machine with these power pads. I love them. And then these are the um, free motion spirit beast uh, foot plates. These are spiked foot plates. They have very small spikes on them, and they're great. The only downfall of these is if it, if they do get wet. Um, if you're in a wet environment, the only place I'd say don't get these is like the Pacific Northwest, and in that case, I'd go with something like the Clark pedals. Um, the Clark pedals are also phenomenal. I love those as well. I just put these on this wheel, and I love the way it looks on the InMotion V12. These just look good on this wheel, feel good on it, and um, just suit it very well so that's what I roll with. Going around to the back, this wheel, I put a um, aftermarket little uh, bag on the back back here. I can put a phone charger in here, uh, extra supplies, I can have something you know a snack anything like that and it was a perfect place for it to fit in here and it didn't affect the uh, speakers. The speaker, um, sound, the sound comes out on the sides right here and then this panel can also come off. I can um, unbolt this panel and this will stay on here. So this is bolted on through the back. The back of this bag has a hard backing to it and so it literally worked perfectly. And this goes on over the fender and typically it doesn't get too dirty but the other day I went through some mud on this thing and it got all muddy under there. But I literally was trying to ride across a frozen lake and I fell through the ice dude and it was just like a mud pit. I, like a pit of oblivion. I thought the wheel was gone, but I fell straight into it <laughs> and it went substantially deep, guys. So if y'all wanted to know if this thing's... I, I was afraid I was going to get a uh, grit inside the motor right here from... I mean, I went straight into that nasty mud right there, but it's all good, dude. I rode it a long way after that and it worked out fine. So I have torture tested this V12, guys. I um, ended up, I, I did that full ride yesterday um, on like a main highway after JB welding my rim back together. And so that worked out. I trusted it to literally go 40 miles an hour down a main thoroughfare through the mountains yesterday and it worked out perfect. Just press the power button once after it's already on, it turns on your top headlights. Press it again, it turns on your bottom ones. Press it again, it turns on all of them. Press it another time, turns them off. This is what the LCD display looks like. I built this front bumper up here. So this is something I built, I crashed yesterday, like I said. And if it wasn't for this, I would have probably beaten up my wheel. But I crashed and it broke the front of this off and then um, loosened this up. So it did its purpose. It dissipated all the... Um, incoming force but I just got to glue this back down but I made all of this out of that baby bumper foam padding and whatnot just out of different stuff and then this is mouse pad and um, velcro and then um, an old CRF 50 plastic kit that I, that I use to make my mud guards and do like DIY stuff if I want to add some paneling or something to it but this bumper did its job, man. It literally protected everything, and the actual wheel didn't get damaged at all. Just my ugly DIY bumper got torn all up. So, that sucks, but I can fix it. But other than that, dude, this wheel is awesome. I've loved the InMotion V12. The only thing I can say, literally the only thing I can say, guys, if you want to get this wheel, is run a high tire pressure and do like some type of pre like preventative maintenance to your tube. Put slime in it. Uh, maybe put something like a um, the slime uh, tube protector, this, the actual strip that can go around the outside and on the inside of the rim. Anything you can really do to uh, increase what's between your rim, 
your tube and the tire in here. And they make several different things to do that. And so I think that's a good option if you want to look into that for your V12. Um, personally, I just put this slime band in there. And I wish I would have actually done the outer layer. But I wish I would have put it against the actual outer tube as well. And that just, like I said, is just another barrier there um, for pinch flats and dissipating force. Um, because there is no suspension on this wheel. That's the one thing. you got to be careful because there is no suspension on it. But this thing is a rocket ship. For a 16-inch wheel, it's just a rocket ship, guys. It's, it is so much fun. I love this thing. It is a blast. I mean, it, it is stupid fast for how small it is. Just stupid fast. And, like, this rides good. Got the, the sound wave in it. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the V12, man. Just run a high tire pressure in this thing, you'll be Gucci. What's up, dudes? Chooch out here sending on the InMotion V12 with a fresh little cruise for you guys. Um, I'm hitting the same route I did on the B Goat EXN with that video that went like viral pretty much with like 800,000 views. I was like, all right, I'm gonna wear the same pants and the lucky jacket and go hit the same route that I did on the EXN. And hope we can get something good like those same numbers man because that was so rad but anyways dude this is my in motion v12 right here this thing is so much fun i mean y'all have seen me just tearing it up on this thing whenever whenever i um do ride it i just remember how much fun it is guys and it takes about 30 seconds whenever i get on this thing i'm just like okay yeah i remember why i love it so much and it's just, dude, it's so fast. It's so, it is ridiculous, dude. Like having something that small. I know I've said it before, but like coming from like the King Song 16S, like I told my buddy the other day that I was going 40 miles an hour up on the uh, peak to peak highway on the InMotion V12. And I was like, dude, it's the same size as the King Song 16S. And he's just like, are you, he's like, what, dude? Cause he, like he, he's ridden like the 18XL before and he knows about some of the wheels. Um, He's my buddy that uh, rides dirt bikes with me. But anyways, I was telling him about that. I was like, yeah, dude. I was like, I was ripping at 40 miles an hour on the one that's the same size as the King Song 16S. He's like, dude, you are wild, bro. And like, and it, 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 it's, it's wild, dude. It really is. And it feels so much faster on this wheel. And you can have so much fun on it, guys. And I just love all the characteristics of this wheel. Um, I really do. The only downfall of it, like I've said before, guys, is you got to run a high tire pressure uh, just because it doesn't have suspension. With wheels with suspension, one big advantage is you can run a lower tire pressure and you, you won't have a um, chance of denting your rim with it because you have that suspension there. And so that just allows you to get more traction with it. And I, it took forever for me to kind of learn that and kind of figure that out as a big advantage of suspension wheels is that you can get a little bit more traction uh, just because you can have a lower tire pressure and then you can still um, have that suspension there and so you're not going to worry about ever having like a dented rim or anything like that and the suspension is just going to allow you to have a, that lower tire pressure um, if that makes sense but with this one you just got to run that high tire pressure and that just also makes it that pocket rocket guys if you want a city screamer something that just like launches in the city this thing is wild dudes if you live in like an inner city, you're just riding on concrete terrain all the time. This thing is so much fun, guys. It's a, it's pretty good off-road, but there's other wheels that are better off-road. But this one is by far like the best city wheel. I mean, it really is. I know other people have said that, and it just kind of sounds like we're just spewing crap. Um, talking about so many wheels at this point. But this thing is, honestly, if you're getting a wheel for the city, guys, and you don't want suspension, this thing is it. I mean, there's a reason they're sold out till May. Um, you can place your deposits for them right now, but they're sold out to make, and it's for good reason. People people do like this wheel. Yeah, there's been some hiccups. Yeah, people have had some issues with it, but for the main part, guys, I mean, you got to think it's a 16-inch wheel with 2,500 watts of power and like 18, almost 1,800 watt hours, guys. It's ridiculous. This little thing is is just rad. It's so much fun. And it's so fast. Uh, I like I like pretty much everything about it. The only thing I don't like about it is just um, the one, it, it, the one thing I don't like about it is literally why I like so many other things about it. The one thing I don't like about it is because it's not good off-road. I wish I had more, um, 
a larger tire where I could run like a knobby tire or something like that for off-road conditions. But on the road, you don't want, like, I literally love this thing because of the small tire. I love it because I'm not running a knobby tire. I love it because it's different than all my other wheels that have the off-road tires and ride like they do. This thing just is completely different. It's like a miniature EXN, but it's like it accelerates way faster than the EXN. And it almost has the same top speed as the Degum EXN, guys. Like, straight up. And so, like, it literally is... It, it feels ridiculous, dude. It feels so fast for how, like, for its size whenever you're topping off. Like, rolling 40 miles an hour on this thing is just freaking fun, dude. Um, for you guys out there that are, like, just checking out this video that are maybe seeing this for the first time, you, you, you can expect a lot. I mean, these things weigh about 64 pounds. This one right here actually weighs exactly 64 pounds. It'll go 43 and a half miles an hour top speed before it like it goes beep beep beep, and it'll it'll uh, has a smart system in it where it leans you back slowly so you don't overpower it. Love that about this one, and it does it gracefully on this wheel. Charges thing up in like six hours to 80 percent with the stock charger it has, which is you can go you know 70 miles of range on this thing if you're just cruise and slow guys but expect like 45 to 50 if you're just ripping it like absolutely giving it all it's got expect like 45 to 50 um max load on this 265 pound rider can up to 265 pound person can ride this thing the battery capacity is 1750 watt hours and i i love the wheel i absolutely love it and if you just want a good city wheel that's great to take on transportation to link up you know to a bus or a train or anything like that to link into your your um commute this is the ideal wheel if you want something you can throw in a uber or something like that this is also the ticket man it's small co compact and it is fast anyways dudes it's been chooch if you enjoyed the video, throw a thumbs up. And if you click the links below, you can check out all the wheels. And if you purchase through those links, it gives me a little kickback at no extra cost to you. And it helps me, you know, be able to travel, uh, bring you fresh content, pay for the cameras, et cetera, et cetera. Because it does get expensive doing this. And I greatly appreciate the little help you can just by taking a little bit of extra time to click the link before you buy the wheel. Because I do the same thing, guys. Like if I see a product online or something like that i just go to the website uh but seriously guys if you just click that link below it rewards me for all my hard work i put into this channel because it does take hours guys it's not like a video camera just follows me around and uploads magically whatever i want to youtube it, it it's a process it takes time and uh, i appreciate it if you just use the links to help me out anyways dudes it's been chooch I'll see you dudes in the next one.